Hey, I'm Tyler, and in this video, we're going to do a tease chemistry practice problem to help you figure out, are you learning the stuff that you need for the test? This practice problem is on states of matter and state changes, which are two super high priority topics that almost always show up in the tease. You want to make sure that you know this stuff, and we'll walk through a full explanation to teach you everything you need. Okay, here it is. During which of the following processes does the kinetic energy of the particles increase? Select all that apply. Okay, and we have boiling, condensation, deposition, evaporation, and sublimation. Now, you might want to pause the video for a second to think about it. And the answers are boiling, evaporation, and sublimation. Okay, if you got this right, awesome, great. For this topic, it looks like you're learning what you need. And if you like to test your knowledge with practice problems like this, I have a whole bunch more, and you can find them in the links in the description below this video. Okay, but listen, if you didn't get it right, it's okay. It's not your fault. Seriously. Maybe you already studied from other tease books and videos, but listen, honestly, most of those resources just aren't very good, and they don't really help people learn. That's probably why you're struggling. So I want to show you how easy it is to learn this stuff when you have good teaching. I'm going to walk you through this problem patiently and step by step, and I promise you will feel yourself learning. Okay, ready to go? Let's do it. Okay, there are two things that we need to know to answer this question. First, these are all state changes, and for each one, we need to know what changes to what. But the tease is tricky, and that's not enough. We also need to know something else. We need to know what happens to the kinetic energy of the particles during each one of these state changes. Okay. Here's how we're going to attack the problem. The first thing on most people's mind is probably going to be the state changes. So let's make sure that you know these. Here are the three states of matter. Solid, liquid, and gas. These are what you need to know for the T's. Let's see what changes to what for each one of these state changes. First off, boiling. That's when liquid turns into gas. Next. Condensation. It's kind of the opposite of boiling. Gas turns into liquid. Deposition. That's when gas turns directly to solid. It doesn't stop at liquid in the middle. It turns directly from gas to solid. Evaporation. That's another name for when liquid turns to gas. The T's might talk about boiling, they might talk about evaporation. They're both liquid to gas. And finally, sublimation. This is when solid turns directly to gas without passing through liquid in the middle. Okay, so those are the state changes that the question asks about. And you want to make sure that you know all these state changes, as well as some others for the T's. We'll talk about all the state changes you need to know at the end of this video. Okay, but to answer this question, we also need to know about the kinetic energy of the particles. Now, what the heck does that mean? Well, if you could zoom into anything zillions of times, you'd see that it's made of tiny particles. And in different states of matter, the particles are organized in different ways. You see that here with the particles in solid, liquid, and gas. But most importantly, these particles are also moving, and that's where kinetic energy comes in. Kinetic energy is basically a fancy term for motion or movement. The faster the movement, the higher the kinetic energy. Faster motion, faster movement, higher kinetic energy. So let's talk about the movement or the motion of these particles. In a solid, the particles just wiggle in place, back and forth, 
they're not going very fast. So we'd say that the kinetic energy of the particles is low per solid. Now in a liquid, the particles are moving a little more than the ones in a solid. They're kind of sliding and swimming past each other. They're not going super fast, but they're moving faster than the particles in a solid. And so we'd say they have medium kinetic energy. And in a gas, the particles are flying around super fast. They're banging into anything that's in their path. This very fast motion gives particles in gas a high kinetic energy. Okay, low, medium, high. There you go. Now that we know all this information, we're going to put it together to finally answer the question. We're looking for the choices where kinetic energy increases. Okay, we'll go one by one. First off, boiling. Liquid to gas, kinetic energy goes from medium to high. Okay, pick it. Definitely kinetic energy increases there. Next, B, condensation. That's kind of the reverse of boiling. We're going from gas to liquid. Kinetic energy decreases in this situation from high in a gas to medium in a liquid. We're not increasing, we're decreasing. Cross it off. C, deposition. Deposition, gas directly to solid. Kinetic energy decreases, and it decreases a lot. It goes from high all the way to low. No increase, cross it off. Next, evaporation. Liquid to gas, so kinetic energy of the particles increases medium to high. Choose it. And finally, E, sublimation. Solid directly to gas, no liquid in the middle. Kinetic energy increases a lot from low to high. Choose it. We've got A, D, and E. That's how we get boiling, evaporation, and sublimation. So, if you're learning this for the first time, awesome. I'm so happy to be walking you through this stuff. There are a few things you want to make sure you learn for the T's. Okay, first off, in solids, liquids, and gases, you want to know how the particles are arranged, how they move, and how much kinetic energy they have. Okay, screenshot this and it's a flashcard to study from. You also want to know all of the state changes. First, you want to know what turns into what. There are six state changes on this diagram right here. Make sure that you learn them all. There are a few other terms that are also important, okay? The T's might talk about evaporation or vaporization. These are other terms for the change from liquid to gas. The T's might talk about boiling, they might talk about evaporation or vaporization. In all cases, you're going from liquid to gas. And for all these state changes, you also want to know what happens to the kinetic energy of the particles. Does it increase or does it decrease? Okay, make sure that you learn this information. You can screenshot this diagram right here to study from. And now listen, I've always asked, when we walked through this step by step, could you feel yourself learning? Maybe you tried other books and videos and you thought you couldn't learn this stuff. But I want to show you that you can learn it, and it's not that hard. We just need to go patiently and step by step, leave out the jargon and the confusing definitions. They're not helping anybody. If you like how I teach, I want to help you crush the T's. I have so many resources for you. On YouTube and social media, I have free videos and practice problems to get you started. And then if you want to keep learning from me, you can get my T's Chemistry Essentials full course, which covers all the highest priority topics on the T's, the highest priority chemistry topics on the T's. And you can get that from my website, teasinoneday.com. And if you just want to get going and you don't know where to start, go into the description below the video and just find video one. Find video one, start watching, and I'll take you step by step through everything that you need. Okay? 
video one, just go from there. Listen, I really hope this helped. Together, we're going to crush the tease.